what a pain in what a pain in the backside that was. Okay, so I've got the floor down. I've got to tidy up and whatever. Uh, there's a there's a gap all along there that I'll just put uh, some cork in. It's about 10 mil gap. The floor's not very wide, so I don't need much of an expansion gap, but I thought it was wise to put some in. Uh, there's also a 15 mil gap at the bulkhead here, at the bulkhead there, which is temporary at the moment, and at the bulkhead at the front. Of course, all this will have like a skirting board running down it anyway. So put the cork in, fix the skirting board so that'll hide the gap and the floor will be able to do its thing. Complete pain in the backside. Complete pain in the backside. Nearly worked me hat off. <laughs> but right, let's get that uh, all tidied up. And uh, I can see the fruits of my labor, I guess. Okay, so there you, there you go. You can see uh, the floor sorted down, everything's back where it is. Or where, where it is, obviously, where it was. Still a load more to do down here. So where am I? On the boat. Um, <laughs> we're still waiting for our window in surrounds to come, our interior surrounds. I'm gonna chase those this week, which will allow us to sand down the sides, cut those frames properly, fix all the boards in properly, uh, and paint, obviously, uh, the sides. Uh, the thermo would hopefully will be here soon, so I can finish that ceiling off all the way to the side walls. Which, if you can imagine that ceiling done and the trims, what a massive difference that will make. Uh, I'm having some oak ripped down that will uh, give us the trim for along the gunnels and also trim that will go over any any joins so that's that's all being cut out of a big block of oak so that's being done uh how much uh chris from harris hoods who's a good friend of ours um he's coming to do the cover for the side hatch the external cover that's sort of a winter a winter cover for the side hatch and the same thing for the stern doors as well. So we're not having a big cover on the stern, we're just having a, a cover uh, across the sliding hatch and down the doors, and that'll give us some winter protection to that back doors, to those back doors. Uh, we wanna keep the, the stern deck open. It is a cruiser stern, so we wanna keep that open for cruising. Uh, we can't quite go to the, the A-frame and the bow cover yet, but uh, when I've made the A-frame, Chris will come and measure up and he'll fit me in as and when. So that's got to be done. That's coming this week. So I now can start on the, the steps, the step, <laughs> the step and fire surround at the bow end. You can see there, there's the, the clear path for the, the pipe work running down the gunnels there. Not the gunnels, on the floor. I can now also stud this bathroom stroke kitchen bulkhead in and I and again if you if, if we remember what we just talked about there's going to be a cupboard above the fridge cupboard all the way there way right down there you won't see this side the cupboard the cupboards and the cupboard backs will be in front of that so what I'm going to do because I've got so many lengths of ply left I'm going to panel that with that ply waste not want not and then, like I say, that would give me something to screw to and uh, and finish that off ready for ready for the kitchen units that I think it's probably March before we get them. The 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 the, the, the people, one of France customers, uh, ripping their kitchen out. It's it's great. <laughs> so we're going to upcycle that and put that in here. But that's probably going to be about March time, which, to be honest, isn't that far away. So I've still got tons of stuff to do. Finish the electric sockets on, on, on this side. I've got to line the doors, which I've, I've, I've roughly cut out, which you'll see next time. Line those doors, get those insulated, and I've got to look at a, uh, a lock securing mechanism for those bow doors, because once I put the cover on the back, stern doors, 
I, I won't have the access from the inside anymore. So we'll start to use those bow doors. I've obviously also got to turn the boat round so Chris can fit the cover on, on this side. I think that's enough going on with, there's plenty. Fran's not with me at the moment. We, we've just had a couple of days away in the van. Just as a bit of a break, we just went to the coast. Uh, you can check that out if you want to, Fran and Mard Van Travellers, over on our other channel. Beautiful sunny day outside, makes a change. Um, how does it actually, it's not been a bad January. Depressing, but the weather's not been too bad. Anyway, getting on to what I'm doing. What am I doing? Um, da -da, dinette stuff. So I've just mocked up that that back panel. Uh, Fran wants that clad in uh, the tongue and groove. Yes, miss. Uh, she's not here at the moment. She's uh, off getting her fix with her grandkids because we, you know, we've been we're not we're not. I don't think she's seen them since Christmas. So with COVID and everything. So anyway, uh, yes. Uh, so I'm just mocking up uh, this pew. I keep calling it a pew. It's definitely a dinette. So I can measure now our kitchen space. Uh, so I've just mocked that up. Well, a bit more than mocked up, really. That's that's all right for cladding on this side. And then there'll be trim all over the top and stuff. Oak trim and, and things. So you won't see any of that. I've cut that to the right angle. I need to... Cut this one back because obviously the angle on the boat it came off isn't quite the same as ours. But you get the idea, hopefully. I've moved them cushions again. So once I know where that is, I can put the holes in the floor for the table. That'll really start to feel like it's coming together a little bit. So I need to measure that. The kitchen space, 2.4 meters. I might do 2.5. Let's be a bit haphazard, shall we? 2.5 metres. Then I can uh, do the table and, and whatever. So that'll start to look pretty good. Cut that off. Uh, yeah, one of the consequences of a slight kitchen change. It's not major. It was always it was always plan A, B and C. Uh, I need to take some of these boards off and put the tongue and groove clad in. Because now uh, they'll probably be exposed... That'll be exposed from there because that'll be the walkway. So I need to do that. Nice and easy job. I only tacked these on anyway because I knew, certainly this side, I've got to go out to the hull on skin fittings. So through the hull skin fittings. So yeah, there's a there's a couple of lengths in Tunga Groove there as a consequence. But yes, let's measure this and uh, I can get this this partition something like, I think. Something like. And maybe get this dinette uh, connected, connected, built up together a little bit. I think I can do that. Looks okay. Uh, needs a bit of bead on it, but that's that's fine when it comes to it. Uh, now this one. So I basically got to take a slither off there. So what I do is just mark uh, to that edge because I, I don't want to take any off the top there. Then just pop a hole in there. So I'll fit the pen there. We'll fit in there. Get that uh, splinters off. The pen will fit in there and just poke through enough to put a black line there. So these pens are wide on one side and a bit narrow on the other. So let me just make sure I put that in, in the right place. So I don't know you can see there. There's now a black line all the way up there. If I cut from that, or cut on that, it should be somewhere close.
That looks better. That's uh, that one was pretty hard. Let's just put a couple of these in. Okay, that doesn't look too shabby, I don't think. So that fits back along there a lot better now. Just need to check that all this is square now. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Looking at those triangles there, that looks pretty square to me. Uh, that's, that's now trimmed to the angle of our boat. So is that one. So that's starting to come together a little bit now. I've just taken all, there was some bead in there. Uh, just noticed that, I don't know what to do with that. I might have to put an infill piece there. This this actual pew actually sat, uh, wasn't on top of a floor. It was actually, the floor was up to it. So it was, it was sunken down into it. So I'm going to need to add a piece into there. Not too bad. I don't think we'll see that once it's all, all together. Backboard something like. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get this together now. Then we can look at uh, sanding it down and darkening it up. Just trying to figure out all these jigsaw puzzle pieces. Because uh, I can't remember how it came out, and I, to be honest, I just I just ripped it out really. But uh, you get the idea there. So that that pulls out. That bit folds over. And then that bit goes into that corner by the look of it. It seems I'm good at jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> okay, there's still some left to do. It's uh, not everything screwed in and some things need a bit of a, a trim here and there. But there you go. There you go, that's the leg for when it comes out for a, for a bed. And that's it, sort of. There's two, there's two lids that go on there. So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a trim, something to do here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on there. Uh, yeah, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. It's exa look, at, I mean, look at the storage under there. One thing you need on a boat, storage, and there's plenty of that there. So yeah, it looks. I think that looks really good. Not bad for hundred quid. <laughs> Not bad at all. Some faffing around, obviously, but there you go. <sighs> Still a bit of work left to do on that. But, it's just some trims and things to put on there. Uh, where's all this going? Oh, that must be. Are they the same? Oh, well, it's okay. So that must go across the back, like so. That's the first time, <laughs> that's the first time we've actually had any cushions on there. Places are supposed to be anyway. Well, <laughs> that's a game changer, and I've not fell through it, so that's always good. That's not too bad at all though. Now what I can do, if I feel very brave, is fit the mountain feet to the floor. So here, here, here's one of the, I'm desperately looking for the other one. I know it's here somewhere. So you can see there's quite a large hole that you actually cut to cut in the floor. 
that drops in and you've got about eight screws that uh, hold that down. So it's a fairly substantial bracket. Uh, that's the one that's on under the table leg. And you can see these have like a taper in them. So they, they fit really quite sturdy, quite cool. So, okay, I need to find the other one. And then I'm gonna measure, measure, measure the kitchen to make sure that I haven't cocked that up. I don't think I have because the indication is there really where the board in the boards ended and this became the kitchen. Uh, I have added a little bit, but not much. So yeah, we'll see. I, I, I think that's right because I've marked a 600, a 600, a 600, and a 600. That should be okay. Okay, boss is back behind the camera. <laughs> um, boss we, wants this fixing to the floor. Boss wants this fixing to the floor. We're fairly <laughs> confident this this uh, dinette's in the right place now. So, um, <laughs> not a job you want to get wrong. So we've just been marking out these. The floor. Tape, the, the floor. We've got the feet in and measured, don't we? Yeah. So it's a it's a pile of holes. <laughs> And then a uh, hole saw is going to make a god awful mess. Hole saw that should be about right. There should be a bit of wriggle room there. These tents could have been oversized. But yeah, this will make a mess. Still. Cinderella's back. Cinderella's back. Thing about this laminate, it's so hard, I think it's blunting me saw. We're not sinking. <laughs> Thank you. Thankfully. And thankfully. So straight down, straight down to the ballast below. Look, you see the ballast down there. So that's all the bricks that uh, keep the boat the right way up. Yep. Now, hopefully, uh, I'm going to clean that out a bit. It's because it, it, cause it... The job's never easy, is it? <laughs> no, I think it's because that tapers a little bit, that does. Although, you probably just need to clean up, actually. Yeah, it just needs... I've got a file there. This is a bit scabby here, because these oh, are used, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Just a bit scabby there, down. so... Well, of course... It's probably only the chamfer on that, actually. Let's see if I've drilled them in the right place, shall we? Let's hope. <laughs> we do hope so, yeah. I can, I can move them if, but I really don't want to. <sighs> that must be close. <laughs> <laughs> it looks close enough for me. <laughs> yeah, what was bad of me till I fixed those screws in? 
Uh, I might need to just, I mean, might need to move that one over a little bit. Not, not the floor, but just on the top. Yeah, it's a bit out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's because it's because this is not in the in the right place. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this one's a little bit closer. We have a dinette. There's our two legs bolted down, just a fill in job. My friends, oh, thumbs over the thing. Uh, yeah, there's the two legs bolted, it's all screwed down. Just a fill in job, boy. Fran's doing some oiling of the timbers. Shiver me timber. Oh, she's done it, oh god, I best crack it cracking then. Here's one of them jobs I've been putting off for a while. So I've got to drill a 20 mil hole. Oh, I've just put a pilot in. So what have I done here? Um, plastic, bit of board, and there's a magnet here to help catch some of this swarf stuff. So let's move that a little bit closer. Because that's one of these things with it. We're going to use a hole saw cutter. This swarf goes everywhere. So here we go. Magnet core, most of it. There's the hole. Got to clean that up a little bit. A bit of insulation on the side. Beyond the hole, the magnet's got all that for off. Saved it being all over there. I've never been on YouTube. What oh, you will. Have my own channel. Okay. Make sure you get me your own man hat. In. Your own man hat. Yeah, is that oh, is it your hat, or do you get it from somewhere else? <laughs> <I'll> probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs>
well there you go grease is cleared off so that's uh that's our side hatch cover um the the thinking behind this is is really just it's just winter isn't it it's just winter any anything that stops a few drafts or gives you that little bit more insulation uh is always a good idea and you do get drafts through these we did on our last boat didn't we yeah. and, and it won't cure it completely but it it, it does help but he's double glass as well now as is he yeah it's it's, it's 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 not the glass it's the it's, it's the surround yeah. that uh that they blow through so that'll help a lot again just for winter we'll, we'll leave it on now obviously because we're in january january and you can see here here's the rear the rear uh, stern cover door uh the theory behind this again is we wanted to keep the, the stern just step back a bit without falling in we wanted to keep the stern area clear so when we've got guests and things it's a nice sociable area in this because that's mainly in the summertime so we didn't want to put a big canopy on here so you can see uh it, it covers the the handle and all of the top opener and all the way down to the floor because this is our bedroom at the back we just want that again that little bit more draft proofing and stuff so that'll make a massive massive difference so really happy with them eh dubs are good in so that was yeah so that was chris from harry's hoods um fa family company chris and sally great guys so i'll put the link to their website down here harry's hoods uh it's not a paid promotion we didn't get we didn't get them free or anything i did ask uh, no i didn't ask actually he's a tradesman like it like i am so you know they, they they've got to keep uh, food on the table for the kids and stuff so yeah not done cheap and not done for free so um yeah we we're really pleased with those that'll, that'll just do it just, just do the job just do the job right so let's get on with that ceiling inside almost t where's t-shirt weather as long as you ain't had too long <laughs> huh it's cold when you're out for a bit. It's all right if you're just out for a little bit. Right, so a fairly eventful video, I think. We've got our covers done. We have. Got our pew something like. We've got emptied our storage. We've, We've had a busy week. God, I'm knackered today. It's Friday, so I'm going to have a beer. Um, and we tidy up tomorrow, eh? Yeah. And get cracking again. Finish it off. <laughs> finish it off yeah, I'm really? at the ceiling oh, that sounds alright oh, I'm finish happy with that finish it off tomorrow yeah 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 I'll be happy with that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah cracking on cracking on uh, still waiting for our uh, window infills interior trims whatever you call them so um, yeah we'll just crack on thanks everyone for watching thank you very much give us a thumbs up and keep subscribing keep subscribing and uh, keep those comments coming we love to have those right shower Shower, beer, freezing. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you guys. See you all. Bye. 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 Bye.